Belize, Mother Nature's best kept secret. It's a tourism slogan that has been used to sell the natural wonders of the jewel. The tourism industry in Belize is the country's premier foreign exchange earner and as such is a crucial pillar of the Belizean economy. In the last two decades, Belize's tourism product has climbed from relative obscurity to the top standards of the industry and today ranks in the top categories around the world. Yannick Dalhouse is the Director of Marketing and Tourism Relations at the Belize Tourism Board. This year has been an exciting year because we've kicked it off with several uh, awards, international awards. For example, uh, TripAdvisor um, named uh, San Pedro property, the Phoenix, as the number one hotel in the world, which is a huge recognition. I mean, TripAdvisor is literally the largest search engine for travel advice and information uh, worldwide. And so for them to get that recognition um, was fantastic from uh, the perspective of just Belize in general and awareness, but we didn't just have the Phoenix. We also had Hamanasi uh, Resort in Hopkins. They were listed within the top five. They took the, the third place uh, as the best hotel in the world. Uh, and then apart from that, we had, you know, over 20 other properties that were listed throughout a number of the, the world best rankings that TripAdvisor releases every year. So um, from the perspective of Belize really taking home a number of you know top place recognitions for worldwide awareness, I mean, we did it this year. Um, but that, it didn't stop there. Uh, we also received uh, recognition from TripAdvisor for the best beaches in the world. And uh, we've got placed seventh, eighth, and ninth for San Pedro, Key Cocker, and Placencia. Just last week, or I think the week prior, we were uh, rated by another international uh, newspaper and online publication for having the best uh, snorkeling diving in the world and I think it was the best snorkeling and it's in whole Chan you know the whole Chan marine reserve so it's these you sort of like acknowledgement this acknowledgement that we've received worldwide has been phenomenal in the perspective of really helping to not only generate awareness about Belize as a destination but all of our world-class product offerings which really helps to sort of tip the scales when you think about travelers looking for places to stay or go because this is what they're looking for places that other people are saying this is a place you really need to visit the hotels mentioned by Dollhouse were chosen from among countries like the Czech Republic, Greece, Morocco, and Italy, among others. But it is crucial that the tourism industry continues on the upward trajectory. Dollhouse says there is a plan for achieving just that. As a tourism board, our job is to help increase awareness about the destination in general. Also, make sure that we're at every point, at every touch point. Now, I say touch point, I mean whether it's online, through the media, with travel trade, um, at our hospitality kiosks or information centers. At every point, being able to give travelers, um, you know, information that provides them with, you know, sort of ideas on where they could stay or activities to do. So that's our role, and help lead travelers to our hoteliers and to our, our tour operators. Um, but then from there, our private sector jumps in and sort of like closes the deal, if you will. Um, and I think one of the things that's a testament to the success, the formula, is that I think really for the first time, I think everyone in the industry can say that, you know, public and private sector have a great relationship. Belize has not only been featured on TripAdvisor. It has become a considerable attraction for many television productions, and the jewel has been featured in TV shows across the globe, such as HGTV's House Hunters International, The Bachelor, Gene Simmons' Family Jewels, and many series like Travel Channel's Bizarre Foods, among others. Those shows coming here only help us in the sense of awareness, um, identification. You know, years ago people were saying, Belize, where is Belize? Now people are saying, you know, I saw something about Belize on The Bachelor or just recently. I know Prince Harry was in Belize. You know, these, all of these things actually help to give us an opportunity to be seen by people we're not personally touching through some of our programs, whether we're at trade shows or sending out news releases and we're featured in a magazine. You know, we're only capturing so many people by some of the efforts that we do directly. 
But there's all these other organic opportunities that, you know, are out there. And I think we're very, very um, aware and we're aggressive with trying to bring those things in um, to make sure that, you know, we don't have that much of a marketing budget. I mean, when you really look at it against our competitors, the dollars that we have to spend pale in comparison. So we have to be very smart, you know, and it's like um, an investment. For every dollar that we put in, we have to make sure that the return on that dollar is at least five times that dollar. Dalhouse says there are certain things which set us apart from other tourism destinations. I always say, you know, while Disney is building attractions and, you know, Jamaica and Mexico are trying to build things, we have it all here naturally. And I think that's what sets us apart and will always set us apart from everyone else is that the natural things that we have, the natural resources we have to preserve and we have to make sure that they stay intact and um, we are able to continue to market that um, for years to come. In Central America, there is stiff competition for the tourism dollars, which are attracted by the array of archaeological sites that dot the mainland. But in Belize, we believe that our Mayan sites are simply the best. The thing that we have as our biggest selling point that no other destination has is that we allow people to have a first person authentic encounter with our Maya sites. You know, we're the only destination you can get married on top of a Maya site. We're the only destination that you can actually walk, you know, and experience and see, you know, Guatemala or be able to take in all that the, 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 the Maya used to do, you know, many, 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 many years ago. And so I think that that's sort of like first person offerings that we're, be, that we're able to give that other destinations can't claim. Belize was also named the second top retirement spot for 2012 by U.S. News Money, and according to them, Belize is a great place for reinventing life in retirement. On March 29th, Belize was featured on the NBC Today show, which has an audience of over 5 million viewers as part of Travel Leisure editor Mark Orwell's presentation on different places to retire, as well as affordable experiences and choices. So what's ahead for the coming year? I think that this next year, you know, will you see sort of a new bag of tricks? I mean, I think that we have some new things that are going to be happening with our website that will make it sort of one of the um, the leading and probably most robust websites for sure for a DMO in Central America, um, you know, kind of at the level where you see Costa Rica. Um, but it definitely will propel us in an area where um, people will be able to kind of come right away and understand all the products that are out there for them to be able to be direct led to our hoteliers and book you know that hasn't been there in the past um, you know we also have some TV shows that are calling us and wanting to be here after seeing how the bachelor experienced Belize and how Gene Simmons experienced and even Prince Harry you know and all the things that are there so we do have some TV shows that we're talking to I can give you a little sneak peek Belize will be featured on Lifetime um, there's a special show that uh, we're working on right now with them, and so that's going to be a huge opportunity for us because Lifetime has a very big, as you know, um, following of viewership. New arrival and cruise arrival records have been set for January and February of this year by the BTB, and for the second time in Belize's history, we have surpassed over 250,000 overnight arrivals in 2011, with a record number of flights also coming into the country. The B2B has partnered with many organizations like the BTIA and SICA to form relationships that will help continue to develop our tourism industry. Locals, however, must remember that our jewels should be the first of all treasured by Belizeans. We should be the first to insist in the beauty of a country we were given the opportunity to be born in and live with. Reporting for Love News, I am Natalie Novello.